All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to diagnose and how to fix a running toilet. At this very moment, it doesn't happen to be running. Hopefully, there you go. So uh, we're gonna talk about how to diagnose this, what steps to take, and uh, hopefully how to fix it without having to call a plumber. No plumber is gonna come out for less than $250, $300 for a house call. So first thing you wanna do, you wanna go below the toilet, take a look over here, and you wanna turn yes, off yes. this valve. This is the on-off valve for the water. If it's stuck, you just want to work it back and forth. This happens to be good, so you're just going to turn it off completely. We're going to open the cap. Be careful, it's all porcelain, it's very fragile. But in a safe place. All right, now we're going to go over the workings of the toilet. You have the arm, you have the fill valve which this happens to be a new style. I'm sure you guys have seen that old style where it was a metal arm with a big ball. That's the old style, they're doing away with that. This saves a lot of water and it's a lot, just a lot better. You have the arm that fills, fills the toilet and you have the flapper. So how do we know what needs to be changed? How do we know what needs to be fixed? That's a good question. I'm gonna go over the steps and hopefully to save you money. First thing we did is we turned off the water. What we're gonna do no matter what, even if it isn't the problem, it's good to clean the diaphragm in here. So a way to take this off is kind of like a pill bottle. You're gonna push down and you're gonna turn counterclockwise. When you're doing that, you wanna lift this arm up. So we're gonna push down, we're gonna turn counterclockwise. Okay. You're gonna to wanna to disconnect this arm. Pull nice and firm, comes right off, just be careful. Anytime you pull something off, just make sure, be careful, because you don't know how it goes back together, so be careful when you remove it. All right, so now you guys can see that there's, this is called a diaphragm. What happens is it gets dirty, it gets grit in it, and it doesn't work properly. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this off, keep in mind how it goes back, and we're gonna clean this with some warm, soapy water. We'll come back when we're done, and we'll show you how to reinstall it. So we clean this out with warm soapy water and we also clean this out with warm soapy water. You guys can see that there's a little needle in here. We remembered exactly the way it went in the video. It's always good to take pictures if you don't remember. But you're going to press that right on, make sure it fits in nice. Try to avoid using a Vaseline or anything like that as it will dry this rubber piece out faster. Once we finish with what we're going to talk about, if there's still an issue, they do sell rebuild kits, but honestly, for $15, just go and buy a new one. It's silly to start messing with this and rebuilding it. It's very cheap. Every piece in this toilet, the arm, the flapper is about $10 for a genuine Kohler. Just get new. Don't get aftermarket. Amazon, eBay, they all carry parts. All right, so the same way we put it on, we went counterclockwise. Now we're going to go clockwise. We're going to hold the arm up. We're gonna push down, kind of like a pill bottle, a uh, child lock on a pill bottle. So pull it up, push down, and you hear a click. Now we need to replace the arm. Should snap right back. It snaps back. All right, so we're done with that. We're gonna come back and I'm gonna talk about how this works, and then uh, we're gonna diagnose the next problem that it could be. All right, so the way this works is we're going to turn the water back on. The water's probably going to rise. The reason why you shut that water off is if you happen to not shut that water off and you remove this, the water will just be up in the ceiling. Keep an eye on this floater as the water is filling up. Notice how it's starting to rise. Once it hits the level you set for it, it'll kill the water right there. So what you want to do is you want the level to be about an inch to a half inch from the top. If I turn this, what it's going to do is it's going to raise this floater. Once I raise this floater, it should fill up a little more. I'm going to push it down there. Okay. So if you pull the cap off of your toilet and it's constantly running 24-7, What's happening is the level is going right inside and it's going down the drain. So what you want to do is you want to come with a screwdriver and you want to loosen this and get it to where it should be about an inch to a half inch like we spoke about. 
So that's how you take a look at this. Usually that's not the problem because it's just, you had it set up and it usually stays, it doesn't move. The old style moved over time. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about how to diagnose it. We clean this, we talked about it. Next step, it could be the flapper. How do we know if the flapper is no good? It looks good. I mean, I'm gonna flush the toilet. It's opening and it's closing. There's no debris in there, it's working the way it should be, or is it? Now we're gonna show you how to diagnose the flapper. We'll come back and I'll talk about that. All right, so we're back, the toilet's filled up. Next step, we're gonna turn it off again. Now what this is doing is this is allowing to see if the water is draining somewhere. The only place it would be draining is through that flapper. So you're gonna kill the water because if you don't kill the water, the, toilet, the level of the toilet could keep going down and then it's going to technically fill up once that ball valve um, gets to that part. So you're going to turn the water off, you're going to take a sharpie, and you're just going to give a little mark at where that level is. Now you're going to give it about five minutes and you're going to come back because you can't see if water's leaking in that flapper. It's, it's impossible. So you're gonna, we killed the water, so no water is gonna come in, no water is gonna come out unless it's leaking from that flapper. So we're gonna come back in five minutes, and if this level has dropped, that means that it's leaking from the flapper and that needs to All be right, so we're back, we gave it about five minutes. You guys can see that the water dropped about an inch. What that means is it's leaking from the flapper. You guys can go online, make sure you're ordering the right one. I went on Amazon, it's a Kohler Genuine, it's for a two-piece toilet, so we're just going to go and replace this. It's very easy to keep this video short, I'm not really going to go over the steps on how to replace it. The whole key to this video is how to diagnose it without going and replacing all the parts in this toilet. Alright, so I hope this video could help you, uh, and that's about it. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Thank you.